So, drinking the mead of poetry, 10th of November. Paul Kingsnorth, Claire Whistler and I, we're inviting you to come and join us because we're going to go on a quest. And it's not any kind of quest. Now this quest has been mentioned in all the world mythologies. It's the quest for the mead of inspiration, for the mead of poetry. Uh, it's, the Greeks called it the ambrosia, the Hindus of the subcontinent called it the soma. It's the drink that gives us inspiration. It's what every poet, every musician, every artist are subconsciously looking for in their lives. And this sacred drink we're going to try and look for in the old myths. From all over the world we're going to look at myths from South America, myths from the north, from Finland, Some African world. myths. And we're going to do writing exercises and we're going to engage with ceremony, especially to try and put ourselves into the idea that we're on a quest, we're seeking, we're thinking, we're feeling, we're singing, we're playing, and we're listening to the stories. So here's a snippet of one of the stories. He transforms into a snake, and from his tongue he can smell the earth. As Odin goes through those spell-binding powers. He goes into the depths of that mountain and when the old woman sees him and when he sees her, everything changes. I don't know what will happen. None of us will know what will happen. What does it take to find the water of life? Who knows? Maybe we will just become, go crazy. Maybe we'll just have trance for eight hours. Maybe we'll dance, maybe we'll sing. Maybe anything is possible in this type of quest. So, nothing is for certain. The only thing we know is that we're entering the unknown on the 10th of November. So I would love to see you there. Thank you.